Good morning, everyone, and welcome back to your first English lesson of this term. So as I said in my morning video today, we are going to be having a go at writing a cold task. Um, we're going to be looking at looking at stories and have a go at writing our own today. So I'm going to read you The Snail and the Whale, which is by an author called Julia Donison. Now, she also wrote The Gruffalo, which is one of my favourite stories. So we're going to have a go first at having a look and reading The Snail and the Whale. So it says, this is a tale of a tiny snail and a great big grey blue humpback whale. This is a rock as black as soot, soot and this is a snail with an itchy foot. The sea snail slithered all over the rock and gazed at the sea and the ships in the dock. And as she gazed and sniffed and sighed, the sea is deep and the world is wide. How long shall I sail, said the tiny snail. Look at the size of this whale, he's massive. It says, this is the whale who came one night when the tide was high and the stars were bright. A humpback whale, immensely long, who sang to the sail a wonderful song of shimmering ice and coral caves and shooting stars and enormous waves. And this is the tale of the humpback whale. He hailed it out at the starlit sea and said to the sail, snail, come sail with me. Here they are, look. They've gone and they found some penguins. This is the sea so wild and free that carried the whale and the snail on his tail to the towering icebergs and far off lands. And we can see the icebergs here. Look how tall they are. They're massive, they're ginormous. With fiery mountains and golden sands. So we've changed to a different habitat here. We've got our lovely gold sand, our big palm trees, and look. We have a monkey and a volcano that is exploding. All this lovely description. These are the waves that arched and crashed, that foamed and frolicked and sprayed and splashed. The tiny sail on the tiny tail of the whale. These are the caves beneath the waves where stripy fish with feathery fins and sharks and hideous toothy grins swam around the whale and the snail on his tail. Look all these sharks and the tiny snail on the very tip of his tail. This is the sky so vast and high, sometimes sunny and blue and warm, sometimes filled with a thunderstorm. With zigzag lightning flashing and frightening, the tiny snail on the tail of the whale. Oh no, our little snail, he looks very frightened. Miss Denton doesn't like thunder and lightning. I think I'd be very frightened too. And she gazed at the sky, the sea and the land, the waves and the caves and the golden sand. She gazed and gazed, amazed by it all. And she said to the whale, I feel so small. But then came the day, the whale lost his way and the speedboats running a race, zigging and zooming all over the place, upsetting the whale and their, with their ear splitting roar, making him swim too close to the shore. Oh no, look, they've gone the wrong way and they've managed to get themselves stuck all these speedboats zooming past, the whale has got stuck. <gasps> Look what's happened to him. He's ended up somewhere he shouldn't be. It says, this is the tide slipping away. And this is the whale lying beached in a bay. Quick off the sand, back to the sea, cried the snail. I can't move on land, I'm too big, moaned the whale. The snail felt helpless and terribly small. Then I've got it, she cried and started to crawl. I must not fail, said the tiny snail. This is the bell on the school day in the bay, ringing the children in from their play. This is the teacher holding her chalk, telling class, sit straight, don't talk. This is the board, as black as soot. And this is the snail with an itchy foot. A snail, a snail, the teacher turns pale. Look, says the children, it's leaving a trail. This is the trail of the tiny snail, a silvery trail saying, and if we look, there's the teacher. And there are all the children and the snail has written a message on the board and it says, save the whale. These are the children running from school, fetching the firemen and digging a pool, squirting and spraying to keep the whale cool. And these are all the children and firemen and they're trying to save the whale. 
This is the tide coming into the bay and these are the villagers shouting hooray as the whale and the snail traveled safely away. They managed to get him back out to sea and they're all cheering with their happy faces. And they sang to the sea as they all set sail on the tail of the gray, blue, gray humpback whale. And all the snails hitched a ride with the whale and they went back out into the ocean. What a lovely story that was, and I hope you enjoyed that. So today, I would like you to have a go at writing your own cold task about an animal. It could be about any animal that you can think of. And we learned about loads of animals last half term, and I'd like you to write an adventure story using one of these animals. And I would like you to have a look at some of the things that Miss Denton would like you to have in your story today. So let's have a look at our success criteria, the things I would like to see in your story today. It says, I can sequence narratives, the beginning, the middle, a problem and the end. Now your story should have a beginning, a middle, a problem, so something that happens that goes wrong and an ending. Now we've looked at this before, Okay, so I'd like you to have a really good go at trying to get this into your story because we looked at this when we looked at narrative stories right at the beginning of the year. So you should be experts at this. The second one says, I can use different sentence types, commands and exclamation. Now we've looked at exclamation marks before. We haven't had a look at commands. So I'd like you to have a go at using them. But if you're not sure what they are, don't worry. It's something that we can have a look at over the next few weeks. Then when you come and have a go at your hot tasks, you will be experts. This one says, I can use adjectives to describe character and settings. Now I know all of you are amazing at using adjectives. I want to see lots of adjectives in your writing. And the last one is I can use suffixes such as full and less. Okay, so on the ends of some of your words, have a go at using the suffix is full and less. Now, because this is a cold task, you might not know what some of these success criteria features are, but that is okay. I want you to have a go at writing and having a go at using as many as you can so I can see what you already know and what Miss Denton needs to teach in the next few weeks before we have a go at writing our hot task, okay? So again, I would like you please to write an adventure story that has an animal in it. Mums and dads and adults at home, if you could let them do this on their own independently, it's a really good way for myself and the other teachers to see what they already know and then we can plan our next few weeks to try and um, enhance their writing as much as we can okay so now that I have talked through that I would like you to have a go I would like these to be at like three paragraphs long okay so I don't want a few sentences I don't want a paragraph I want at least three paragraphs of lovely writing and don't forget when you're finished to go back Go through, check your work, capital letters, full stops, and go back and have a look at the success criteria and go through and check that you have all of those things or as many as those features as you can in your writing, okay? I'm looking forward to seeing all of these stories today. Um, you probably need to spend about 45 minutes on them, including your editing time, okay? Have a lovely day and I'm looking forward to reading them later. Bye.